What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action spawning in the bottom of the map in the blue color playing as Ra. His name is Squash. His opponent today in the red color playing as Odin. His name is Yoshi. We've got another water map for you, but this one's one of the hybrid water maps. And we did see Yoshi going for some crazy stuff on Mediterranean, which means he is capable of doing some crazy stuff on Anatolia. This matchup is actually a really, really interesting one because the, uh, the uh, concept of Scardi always best is completely thrown out of the window on this map because Njord gets you a Kraken, gets you an incredibly strong power spike with siege weapons, and you can just go to town on your opponent. You don't necessarily need Winter Harvest either because you have the fish. So the idea here, the best idea here for Odin is to be going for a 515 advance time, 18 fishing ship. You've got the Norse Navy to be able to defend whatever your opponent's doing. You do not need to win the water until the Heroic Age, in which case you can make yourself that Kraken and kill them. You get the Njord and you can put a pressure on with that. Or you can go Skadi uh, and into a into a Mythic Age through Baldur or Tyr. Take your choice. If you go Tyr, you can make your Minelvas to win the water. If you if you go if you go Baldur, you can Ragnarok with uh, with a market set up in order to grab the entire control of the middle of the map is the idea before rebooming with having already 18 fishing ship, couple of uh, trade caravans. If you're tr building the trade as you're advancing to the mythic age, that would net you uh, probably about four camel caravans in that time. As we do see uh, Yoshi making his way up to the top side of the map, has to throw down his house, having just a little bit of idle time in his town center. Uh, and he will truck up his dock as well. So there is some specifics here with the 515 build. Uh, things like you need to make sure you're getting out early dwarves, which I don't think Yoshi did, which means he's not going to be able to get out as many dwarves as he needs uh, to, to like make more dwarves, uh, which then in turn means that you're getting less gold in the classical age, which you need for the heroic age. All those things really do matter, uh, and the build is incredibly specific. Uh, so if you want to learn that one, guys, if you want to learn that one, it's up on the Patreon. Check out the page. Little plug. I'm sorry. Anyways, you could also get the cheat sheet if you subscribe or become a YouTube member. Anyways, back to the game. Our Ra player here, he's doing the standard Ra build order. Squash is doing nothing too crazy. Uh, maybe five villagers on wood is not quite standard. Gets him a little bit more fishing ship a little bit later. Classical age. Uh, there's no real need for this because you're going to be able to get the fishing ships out anyways. With a 515 versus a 530, you're just basically saying, I'm delaying my purse scene. So... It's fine. You get a little bit more food a bit early, but you would gain that food back by the earlier person is the general the general uh, idea of it. So there's not really a big difference apart from you advance 15 seconds later. Anyways, more fishing ship coming out now for Yoshi up on the top side. He's chucking his temple down. And this is one of the really, really important parts about Odin on Anatolia is that you actually do 100% need two Ulf Sark. You need two Ulfsark to build your two docks on both sides. If you don't have two Ulfsark, you cannot get your two docks. You cannot get your temple up. You cannot get your houses. You're going to get housed a whole bunch of the time if you are trying to do anything good. Uh, and that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Uh, trio spoke here for, uh, for Yoshi. Archer, Ballister, Kyra Ballister, line instead of range. It's kind of, it's kind of like... The game developers are like, well, we've got this relic. We want to give the archers more range, but we don't really want to give the throwing axemen more range because that would be way too strong. Giving throwing axemen more range, wait, let's just, let's give it to the baluster. I know the baluster because the 30 range that the baluster has is just not enough. Definitely the extra two range is going to help out a whole bunch with the baluster. Shake my head absolute silly silly we do see a forward dot coming up here for squash which is very very aggressive uh and it's very risky as well but it's going to be able to put a whole bunch of pressure over onto yoshi it's actually very very smart very very tough to deal with 
Though you can defend this, I feel, with uh, with some pressure onto this dock, getting your ships out nice and early, getting some Hursa out should be completely fine to pick off at least one dock that's close to your temple. Meanwhile, second dock is coming up. We do have that second Olsark out. Freya is on the way. And it's a little bit close to the advanced time that we're looking at, but we are maybe a little bit short on, on Dwarf. But it's actually not a bad not a bad start here from Yoshi. Eight, 17 fishing ship for Yoshi to 16 fishing ship for, uh, for Squash. And Yoshi hits the uh, Classical Age just about at 5.15. So never say never. You can do whatever you like. So long as you go for this like general strategy, it's good. I would love to see Yoshi put all of his effort into taking this dock down because you do not need to win the water. Remember this. Winning the water is not that important here. You need to make sure you defend your water. As we are seeing the houses coming out, first thing coming in, hand axe coming in. Uh, Tar comes through here. We do see a big forest fire onto this location here, moving the villages all over here. Uh, not going to be that big of a deal as we see more houses coming up here and a monument coming down. Still no purse seen for Squash. He should be grabbing that fairly soon. As we do see the Hursa coming over here, going to st start taking down the dock, but there's just not quite enough units here. There's nothing in the dock just yet. I wouldn't have ungarrisoned that cabinet just yet, uh, but we are seeing a... A rain. He's not even blocking anything. Rain. That there was a time when rain would actually boost your wood income on Vubly. It does still boost your wood income on Extended Edition. So for you Extended Edition players, one of the little known facts about the old rain is that it does boost that. But you know, I'm seeing a lot of pressure happening over here. And Yoshi's got a lot of resources in the bank. He could have he could have spammed these boats, these longboats out and be holding here. But not happening just yet. More longboats coming down for Yoshi. He's not actually holding and he's getting pushed back very very hard as squash is managing to completely run over yoshi who's got nothing remaining here he's actually garrisoning all of his fishing ships now into the docks as the cabinet's going to be looking for something to take down we do see yoshi holding on over here as he's going to have to figure out a way forward here because getting run over the water that easily is not something that is good at all he definitely could have held on here but it didn't happen, and we still don't see Purse seen for Squash. So the advantage isn't that big, though. We have any idle fishing ship now. We've got seven idle fishing ship as the docks are going to be getting taken down. We see a town center getting grabbed here for Yoshi. He's deciding to shake up the strategy just a little bit. Armory coming down, barracks coming down. Look at Squash's building placement. House, house, house. Armory, barracks, granary. It's completely walled off. There's a tower here which you might want to throw some wall segments around, but it's just a thing of beauty. Age of Empires, Age of Mythology is a city building game after all uh, and should be treated as such. We do see this dock is getting taken down. Big commitment here from Squash. 13 cabinets out. That's a lot of resources invested over here. He's also got a whole bunch of cabinets on the bottom side of the water as well. Town Center about to come up for Yoshi. We're going to have Squash going up to the next age very, very shortly. He does not have Shaft Mine. That's one thing I love to get here with uh, Ra and Set. You don't necessarily have to get it with Isis because you have Prosperity. You probably want to get it with Isis in, in, uh, anyways as well. But getting that Shaft Mine means you get a whole bunch more gold, which means you can hit that heroic age much more cleaner much more cleanly as we do see over here the longboats defending nicely as the fishing ship popping back out uh, and we will have to see some villagers jumping onto food here for yoshi in the near future as he is moving forward gonna be throwing up longhouses in the middle of the map and all of this advantage that squash is getting over here is not going to amount to all too much he might choose to take this uh this fish here, but he might not as well. And there is still a possibility that Yoshi can win this water here with Njord, but he's probably going to go through Skadi here, given he's got the town center. He might also try and take this town center. More longhouses are coming down, walls coming up everywhere. And essentially, Yoshi is saying, I am going to stop you getting gold this game. This is what he's going for. We see Hathor coming through for Squash. Squash does have Shifting Sand, so he can use that to move his villagers forward if he needs to. 
Still no next age for Yoshi just yet. He doesn't have his armory up anywhere, I don't think. He has been pushed off at those longhouses for the time being. As those spearmen starting to run around the map. They are very, very strong here. The dwarves are coming over onto this gold mine. And an armory is now going to start coming up for Yoshi. As he's got a whole bunch of hearse over here. More longhouses coming down. And we do see shaft mine coming through for squash as well. Going to boost his uh, economy up. Quite a lot in the gold department. So you do see, well, this, you can tell what these spearmen are for. You can tell. We do see the villagers splitting up just a little bit. And I think Yoshi's got an idea here. With Hathor just about to pop, he wants to cast Locust right here. Boom. There's the Locust coming down. Will any villagers get picked off? Naturally, Squash's Locust picks off four. It's only four villagers. I, if that was me... All of my villagers would have died. died. I guarantee you, if that was me, all my villagers are dead there. As Yoshi now able to advance to the next age, still does not have his armor, or there's his armory, so he will be able to go up. And the question is, what does he go up through? As we see immediate Salt Amphora coming through for Squash. He's also going to be grabbing his town center. Skadi is the god of choice, so no real surprises there, though I question uh, I question why maybe Nord here might, might actually be better. Just uh, push through here a little bit easier, but it's not what's going on. And we do see the Valkyrie coming in with the help of those throwing Axemen to take these units down. The Wadget in the back doing a lot of damage. We do see the Pharaoh coming through, you know, attempt to finish off this Valkyrie who has been evading death for quite some time. And the Priest going to get taken down over here as well. A couple of units trying to deny this town center at this point. Doing nicely. Squash is very, very close to the mythic age he's got himself the market here we see a big shifting sands onto the town center as he's going to attempt to uh get that one up i mean he felt very strongly about getting that town center but uh, he's not going to have shifting sands anymore in this game and will we see osiris or will we see horus i think we are seeing osiris so i think that horus here is a little bit more clean because you can push forward and take down the town center and, and um Put a lot of pressure on as we are seeing the longboats going you know, to attempt to fight here. There are some war barges out already for Squash to defend. Uh, and the war barges or the cabinets retreating back. And Yoshi going to have to say, well, I can't push in just yet. There's the marker coming up for Yoshi. There is still room for a Ragnarok here. The gold mine will expire and... A Ragnarok on Anatolia with a little bit of fishing left with some trade started. That's strong. That's very, very strong. Uh, and I, I have this gut feeling that Yoshi is going to want to pick tier here just because it feels a little bit safer. But you've got an early second town center. 46 villages might not seem like a lot, but you can get a whole bunch more out. Uh, and it'll be very, very strong. As we are seeing that Mythic Age just about to click up. And we are seeing Balder. Absolutely love it. The Spearmen moving forward. There are, is only one barracks here. We are seeing some Axemen coming down for Squash. But that doesn't matter all too much. You're not really going for the main base. You can go for this town center. You can go for this town center to try and take this one for yourself. We are seeing that's exactly what Yoshi's doing as he starts building that one. We do need to see some trade started here. This is important because otherwise you don't get the gold income that you might need uh, if the Ragnarok doesn't like instantly get deleted. So let's see how this is going to go. As the villagers getting pulled off this gold mine, there are already a couple of Yoshi units here. As the spearmen running all over the map, the son of Osiris or the Osiris is going to hit here. So you're going to have to be a little bit of a pullback from uh, from Yoshi. I don't think he's going to get this town center up, but he will probably want to deny it at the very least as we are seeing some Axemen coming out for uh, for Squash to pick off these infantry units. More of the Ulfsark are chasing this around. Do we see any trades? Still no trade here. Village is up on this wood line over here as well. So... <clears throat> Yoshi just making that slight mistake. We'll see if it's an issue. We see Salt Amphora coming through as well as the uh, units of Yoshi pushing through on that location there. Leaving Frost for the Son of Osiris is going to be so key here. You Frost the army where the Son of Osiris is and you kill the Son of Osiris. You see double marker getting set up over here. Where is the Son of Osiris? We've got the uh, villagers onto this location here. You do 100% need to cast 
that rat battled up straight away. Put the pressure on right now. No sense in waiting. You've got 51 villagers. There's the frost on this location. And the son of Osiris is going to be getting taken down. We see the throwing axemen going after the settlement as well. Going to try and get as much damage done to the son of Osiris as he possibly can. As the villagers coming in here will start shanking away at these units. Is still no Ragnarok. R Click it. Click Ragnarok, you can get a gold staff. Squash, you only got 400 gold left in the bank. You can make some trade rapid. You can easily put a stop to that. Uh, yes, no trade for you is bad. No fourth town center is bad. There's the Ragnarok. It is going to be coming forward, but the Son of Osiris is not going to be falling here. The Son of Osiris is still going to be alive, and th that is the most key unit to defending a Ragnarok for Ra in this situation. But we do see the Ragnarok heroes coming after this location. We'll be able to pick off those villages, go after this town center. We do still have eight fishing ship here for Yoshi to get himself a whole bunch of food in on this location. We see the mummy taking out the fire giant there as the Son of Osiris is just hanging out as the Rag hero is coming through. We do see the medium axe on here. Another uh, fire giant has been created as the Son of Osiris is going to be attempting to retreat away from here. The Rag heroes do manage to take down this town center as Skin of the Rhino does pop there. Uh, and the final death of the mummy does come through. Son of Osiris doing so much damage here. Yoshi already down to 150 of 130 population as this is not looking good for Yoshi at all because of how long he waited. All these chariot archers coming out here. The Son of Osiris getting pushed back. Finally starting to get take, uh, starting to take some damage here as the town center is going to get denied here. The fire giant can simply start attacking that one and it will get denied for the time being. The town center here has been picked off. Yoshi needs to send some units over. He's got a lot of food in the bank. He could choose to go all in here, just spam units out onto this position here, but he might need to be making some of those raiding cavalry if he's going to be doing it, which he can't really afford. The town center very, very close to getting up. All you got to do is click the fire giant onto this and it's not going to go up, but it looks like Yoshi not doing that here and Squash manages to hold this position. He's trying to get those villages back out he's making dwarves he's making gatherers he's making trade it's still a very very close game here uh but squash has got that that son of osiris and and you have to ask that question what if what if yoshi had simply had his rag here when frost was cast then the son of osiris would not have survived this at all would be dead the rag heroes are doing so much more and this game could be completely different here now Squash moving around onto this position, still trying to get access to the gold mine. We do see a cheeky wall getting thrown up over here. Squash still not starting his trade route. Lots of food in the bank. Can sell the food as well if he so chooses for quite a lot of gold. Uh, and we'll see how this is going to go as the fire giant walking in from both sides. They will be able to take down those axemen very, very nicely. We're still seeing that son of Osiris getting chased around by the rag heroes. They do a whole ton of damage. Oh, you could have got the surround there. No. Uh, the fire giant's getting so much damage done. 79 population left for Yoshi. Still, oh, there's he going now. Finally, with the trade route. Imagine having that trade route set up before he clicked rag. All of these things are so vitally important to uh, Norse's success when ragging. Uh, and now we see Squash at 90 pop. Yoshi at 69 pop. And he will have to retreat for the time being here. The villagers coming out. 29 villagers for Squash. 14 villagers for Yoshi. I guess 20 villagers for Yoshi because of those ox caravans, which are getting a decent trade at this point. Actually, it's only 40. It's really not that good. Really not that good. I thought it would be better because it's like right in the middle of the map. But alas... We just see the fire giants coming back in. We'll be able to snipe down so many villagers here. Big, big damage done, but not quite enough. I think maybe you need four fire giant to one hit a villager with the special. We do see the son of Osiris coming in. You can sack the fire giant here to try and take down that son of Osiris. They do a lot of damage as we do see one fire giant falling uh, and the axeman coming back in. The villagers getting pulled off of that, uh, that gold mine. I guess with the skin of the rhino. Maybe it is three, three uh, fire giant to one hit a whole bunch of villagers that haven't had skin of the rhino done. But still only two town centers a piece here. So the reboom is going to take quite a lot. And we do see the ramming galleys taking the initiative here. Cleaning up that fish. Very important from Squash to do that. And that's going to put a complete stop to Yoshi's food economy. Which is going to be so very 
very bad for him. We are seeing the walls getting thrown up over here as Squash is moving on to that gold, that gold mine there. Squash has got himself 24 fishing ships now as well as he's managed to fish up the entirety of that, getting himself back this town center over here as well. Completely stabilized, but we do have the fire giant follow up and we could see a huge fire giant special here. Big, big fire giant special. The units are moving, trying to dodge this. Nice play there from Squash. Still going to get a whole bunch of damage. Don't know. They just, they all, they all just dodge. Big, big dodge there from Squash. Again, I would take these Fire Giant, and every time that Son of Osiris pops out, I would focus that down with my Fire Giant. I don't care if they start falling. I just want the Son of Osiris dead so my Fire Giant can do something. We do see the uh, Fire Giant here. Yet again, using that special big, big splash damage over here. And we do see the Son of Osiris getting a bit, a bit of damage done yet again as the Fire Giant is hitting it down. 45 HP, 35 HP, 25 HP, 15 HP. Fire Giant does fall. Son of Osiris with 6 HP remaining, but Yoshi's army gets completely cleaned up here. Yoshi, 52 population to Squash's 129 population here. As we see these dwarves having to leave this location here, maybe jumping onto food somewhere. So much food in the bank for Squash. His four town centers. Yoshi, two town centers. Not able to get this town center just yet. Yoshi with lots of gold in the bank. He could buy some food here. It's quite cheap. One of the big advantages of putting gold pressure onto a rise, they're going to sell their food, and then you can just buy it back for dirt cheap with the gold. Much more efficient, actually, at this point, to buy food than it is to gather food at 77 uh, gold per 100 food. Uh, considering food takes the longest to, to gather out of all the resources. But he's not doing that just yet. He's looking to push back in. He will be get, getting greeted by a whole bunch of units, though, and there's just not enough fire giant here, it seems. Coinage is getting grabbed here for Yoshi. We see a hill fort going to get thrown up right on the front. We'll see if that's going to be enough as the axemen are going to come in here, but they're going to get greeted by a big fire giant special there. Lots of splash damage done. The axemen pull back. Fire giant going to be chilling here as the son of Osiris is just going to sit here with 6 HP, empowering his mining camp to get himself as much gold as he possibly can. Now we do see these chariot archers getting some big damage done onto the fire giant, but he will be able to trade relatively nicely here as we yet again see the axemen being the target of the fire giant's special ability, but not yet able to pick them all off. As we also see the chariot archers able to snipe down the hill fort that Yoshi wanted up on the front as we see that's completely denied there. Yoshi retreating back, going to get his hill fort here, but then the trade route is going to be spotted, and that's going to be put a stop to. We see heavy chariots coming through, and in that moment, Yoshi does decide to tap out. GG, what a wild game here. You can definitely see from this game that this matchup is not as one-sided as it was once uh, perceived here. If had, had Yoshi done a couple of things better, I feel like he would have been in a winning position. For example, holding Frost until you have the Rag Heroes, until you have a big army to clean up that Son of Osiris would have been incredibly good. And if he could do that, it would be really, really nice. But he didn't He didn't do that. Having, having held onto this water instead of giving it up, he definitely could have held the spam that, um, that Squash was doing here. He could have held that spam, but... Uh, he didn't choose to do that. He gave up this water without too much of a fight. He could have gone Njord here as well in order to win this, but then you would have to deal with the Son of Osiris. So maybe against Ra. Uh, if you go Njord, you might have to go Tyr behind that uh, as well. But uh, I think that Tyr in this situation could have been really good as well. There's going to be so much cool stuff that Odin could have done with this strategy. Well played by Yoshi, but better played by Squash. If you guys enjoyed this game, please... Consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTubes, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next game.